Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in number systems. In this video lecture we shall consider the concept of decimal to binary number conversion. The given number in decimal is 25.375 and I need to find its equivalent in binary. So how do I do this? So without wasting much time let's get into the concept straight away. So first let me consider the integer part. So I would consider the integer part. What is the integer part? It is 25. So I would consider 25. I would divide this number successively by 2 till I cannot divide this number any further. That is the method for integer part. For the fractional part, later I would consider the fractional part that is 0.375. I would multiply this number successively by 2. So that is the process. So let's begin this. So consider 25. Divide this number by 2. So what I am going to get? If I divide 25 by 2. 2 twelves are 24. What is the remainder? Remainder is 1. So let me write it over there. So let me divide this number again by 2. So what is the answer? It is 2 6 za. Quotient is 6. 2 6 za 12. Reminder turns out to be 0. So again consider the number 6. Divide this number again by 2. It is 2 3 za 6 and the reminder turns out to be 0. So divide this number again by 2. So it is 2 1 za 2. So what is the reminder? Reminder is 1. So can I divide the 1 by 2? No, I cannot. So at this point of time, I would stop this division and I have to read it this way. So it is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. It's it, the equivalent in binary. So let me now consider the fractional part. What is the fractional part? Fractional part is 0 0.375. What is the method? I have to multiply this number successively by 8. So what is the answer? 0 0.375 into 2. If I do that, 0 0.375 into 2. I am going to get 0 0.75 as the answer. So let me write 0 0.75. So I will consider what I have at the integer part. At the integer part, I have 0. So let me write 0 over here. So next consider the fractional part, the left out fractional part which, which is 0 0.75 multiply this number with the 2. What I am going to get? So let me consider the calculator again. 0 0.75, 0 0.75 into 2. If I do that I am going to get 1.5 as the answer. So let me write 1.5 as the answer. What I have at the integer part? I have 1 at the integer part. So let me write 1 over here. What is the left out part? The left out fractional part is 0 0.5. So let me multiply this number again with the 2. What I am going to get? So it is 0 0.5 into 2. I am going to get 1 as the answer. So let me write 1.0 in the fractional part. So I have to consider what I have at the integer part. At the integer part I have 1. So next I have to consider 0, .0. So The fractional part is 0, .0 into 2 which turns out to be 0. So at this point of time I would stop the iteration. And to read it I have to read it this way. Which is completely opposite to what we did with respect to the integer part. So ultimately what is the answer? So let me write it over here the given decimal number which is 25.375 this is the given number in decimal what is its equivalent in binary it is uh, integer part I have 11001 so let me write it over here I have 11001 point. What I have at the fractional part? I have 0, 1, 1 at the fractional part. So let me write 0, 1, 1 at the fractional part. So ultimately I would call this is the equivalent in binary. So in this video lecture I have considered a conversion from decimal to binary step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I am happy to answer those doubts. Thank you so much for watching.